working 9 to 5 will make you poor. According to recent studies, more than half of Americans earning six-figure incomes, that's 51%, live paycheck to paycheck due to rising living costs and debt pressures. Among those earning over $200,000 annually, 36% are in the same situation. The fastest path to financial freedom is to be a businessman, not just a businessman. Businessman, I'm a businessman. This means gaining equity in business rather than just being a worker bee. This is some theory that we learned from a book. We've done this ourselves, and we didn't follow the traditional corporate route. Instead, we venture into multifamily apartment investing in August 2018. Through strategic partnership, we acquire equity in multifamily portfolio worth over $300 million. This move was the best decision for our financial future. Our net worth has increased more than 10x and continues to grow rapidly. Gaining equity in this business has transformed our financial landscape and set us up for exponential growth and it can do the same for you. By the end of this episode, you'll leave knowing how to earn an ownership percentage of company using your skills, learn how to separate your income generation from time, set up business structure that pay for the work you do today for years to come. This strategy will change your life and make you more money than anything else. How does that sound? Here's the thing, let us break it down for you clearly. Working for someone else is like being a forager in the wilderness. Your job is to go out every day searching for edible fruits, but here's the catch. You have no control over the variables. Maybe the tree was diseased, maybe it didn't get enough water, or it lacked fertilizer. Similar to your WG job, you can work hard, but many factors are outside of your control. Now compare that to owning an apple orchard. Ask the owner you can show how much water each tree gets, the type of fertilizer you use, and the overall care of your orchards. Once you plant the apple seed, you reap the benefits year after year because you own the trees. That's the power of equity. While foragers face feasts or famine, those who own the orchard enjoy the abundance. They plant the seeds, nurture them, and they continuously harvest the fruits of their labor. This is a stark difference. It's about controlling your destiny. Those who understand how to plant, grow, and nurture their own assets are the ones who achieve lasting success today and in the future. The owner knows the seed always produces a harvest. You reap what you sow. Remember this, you don't reap when you sow, and you always reap more than you sow. Sowing and reaping is the way to multiply. Therefore, owning asset is the key to building wealth. By seeking equity or a share of profits, you can create an income stream that continues to benefit you long after the initial work is finished. Working a 9-to-5 W2 salary means that your worth and your compensation are dictated by someone else. Your hard work often goes towards building someone else's wealth, leaving you vulnerable to their decisions and markets' fluctuations. In the past, many believed that a stable job provided lifelong security, but today's reality is wholly different. Layoffs are now extremely common and studies have shown that 40% of Americans have been laid off or terminated from their jobs at least once in their career. This means that even high-performing employees are not immune to job insecurity, despite their dedication and hard work. Imagine climbing the corporate ladder, putting in long hours and sacrificing personal time only to find out that you're climbing the wrong ladder, one that leads to someone else's success. When you rely solely on your salary, you're essentially trading your time for money with a hard cap on your potential earnings. There's only so much you can achieve on your own, and this finite relationship between work and income limits your financial growth. In contrast, owning a piece of a business provides significantly more upside. Business ownerships allow you to leverage various resources, team, tools, tax, times, and debt to grow your wealth exponentially. This scalability means that your financial growth is not limited by the finite nature of your labor, instead expands as the business grows. For example, in our experience with the multifamily apartment business, we recognized early on the importance of having real stake and tangible equity from the start. We didn't want to be employees, we aim for ownership. Now, in each of our multifamily apartment complex, we earn at least seven figures in equity for every project we undertake. While it didn't start this way, we have reached a point where if a deal doesn't promise substantial returns, it likely isn't worth our time. This approach ensures that your wealth grows independently of your labor and time providing robust financial foundation that's far more secure and lucrative than your salary alone. By focusing on building equity and owning a piece of the business, you create opportunities for scalable and sustainable financial growth. This path offers true financial freedom and scalability, allowing you to control your own schedule, decide when to wake up, when to go to bed, and when to go on vacation. In our multifamily apartment business, we maximize all five levels of this leverage. This has allowed us to grow at a quantum leap speed because we are no longer stuck in the limitation of figuring out everything and doing everything ourselves. We have a highly experienced team working hard on our behalf in every aspect of our business. The key is to seek out a business that can provide this level of leverage. So how do you do this? By growing the three pillars of wealth. The three pillars of wealth are active income, passive income, and legacy building. 
These are all essential for achieving financial stability and long-term prosperity. Each pillar plays a unique role in creating a robust financial foundation that can withstand economic fluctuation and provide lasting security. Focusing on all three pillars is crucial because each one addresses the different aspects of your wealth creation and security. Active income provides the necessary capital and quick returns to fund other investments. Passive income ensures ongoing financial stability and reduced dependency on continuous work. Instead of trading a lot of your time for a little bit of someone else's money, it allows you to enjoy a more relaxed lifestyle. Legacy building creates a sustainable financial foundation that benefits future generations, ensuring that your wealth endures beyond your lifetime. Many people, however, fail to focus on these three pillars. This oversight leaves them vulnerable to economic fluctuation and job insecurity. So what are these three pillars? Again, the three pillars are active income, passive income, and legacy building. For us, we are fortunate because all three pillars are found in multi-family apartments. But let's explore examples from different fields to illustrate each pillar. That's a great idea, Nan. So imagine you're playing a game show and after a series of intense rounds, you finally win that huge cash prize. The thrill of the media rewards is akin to achieving active income. This type of income can come from consulting fees, commissions from sales, or job bonuses. It's money that you earn directly from your efforts, providing a crucial financial foundation. For instance, a tech consultant might work on a significant project and receive a substantial fee upon completion, instantly boosting their earnings. This active income leverages your skills and efforts to maximize returns and provide immediate financial benefits. Now imagine a business model where money keeps rolling in every month without requiring much or additional effort from you. This represents passive income. Example of passive income includes dividends from stocks, royalties from books or music, rental income from real estate. Unlike active income, passive income continues to flow even when you're not actively working. Consider a musician who writes a hit song. Every time the song is played, royalties are earned providing steady stream of income that covers everyday expenses and beyond. It's a lifestyle business that pays you repeatedly for your work that you've done once. Lastly, think of planting a tree that will provide shade and fruit for generations to come. This symbolizes legacy building. This pillar involves creating long-term wealth that benefits future generations achievable through investments in businesses, real estate, or trust that grows over time. Take, for example, a family-owned winery, passed down through the generations. It not only provides income for the current owners, but also ensures financial security for future descendants. By continuously investing and expanding these assets, you build financial fortress capable of withstanding economic downturns. So focusing on these three pillars, active income, passive income, and legacy building, you can create a balanced and resilient approach to wealth that surpasses the limitation of traditional employment. This comprehensive strategy leverages the power of diverse income streams to achieve financial freedom and long-term prosperity. If you are done trying to earn your way to wealth with your W-2 salary, go watch this episode so you can learn how to use other people's money to become truly wealthy.